I've had a number of contested elections as Councillor of St Helier. The first time I ran for office, I was a deputy and I was unsuccessful. The second time, I defeated the sitting candidate. And back in 2008, someone ran against me for Councillor of St Helier and I saw off the challenge. Since then, I've had a number of uncontested elections, and, and including recently when I was returned for the seventh time in office. Uh, and so I thought it'd be right to respond to the questions in the vote.je website, which ask whether uncontested elections are a good thing for Jersey. And I don't think they are. I think that everybody should have a contested election and have to put forward a manifesto. But the current system really militates against that. So I would rather see a system of equal sized electoral districts where the same number of people stand for office and people who vote have the same number of delegates in the states. That's the system they have in Guernsey, and it means that uncontested elections are extremely rare. If the constables have to be in the states, then I think they should be moved into an upper house. A bicameral system works very well in America and other jurisdictions, and I think the constables could do a useful job if they sat on their own. Any constable who wanted to still be a member of the states could stand in the general election as I would intend to and hope to be re-elected. But the current system is not very democratic and it needs to change.